So, Daisy, we've only got two minutes. Anything you want to ask the kid? Yes. Um, what's, uh, what's your last name? Uh, hey. Last names spell commitment. I'm all about the here, the now. The you and me attacking some bed springs. <laughs> last name. <laughs> Mandel! Fun. What is it, Mason? All right, I've, I've always found your stories charmingly naughty. The legendary blowjobs of your, you know, they were all quite romantic in their fashion, you know? Thank you. Uh, coffee, please, Tiffany. Does anyone ever order the Elvis Presley? Sure. What's in it? Peanut butter, bananas, bacon, and Cool Whip. What does that taste like? Death on a plate. Yeah, I'll just get the coffee. Ugh, another outdoor death. My lips are getting so chapped. Roxy says I look like a dog. I didn't betray anyone. Do I look like some kind of stray that needs to be saved? I'm really pretty, don't you think? Mm hmm? I need verbal reassurance. You're not a dog. No, no, say the thing. You're really pretty. Say the whole thing. You're the most exquisite beauty the world has ever seen. She's a cop. Don't they get everything for free? I thought you were a meter maid. Well, I'm a cop now. Good for you, baby. Coffee's free for cops. I'm fucking real. What do you mean you're a cop? I joined the police academy this afternoon. Yeah, I don't think I care for that. Hello there, Jack. Right. So, you having some nice uh, dates? Are you trying to dump me already? No, oh, just making chit-chat. But you're dying to date that hump over there. Well, he is handsome, but I look for many other qualities in a man. Is your last name Alan? I know for a fact that guy has herpes. Fact. Easy there, tiger. You despise men, don't you? What? You come here because you hate men. You're a beautiful woman who hates men. God, I hope your last name's Alan. It's not. All the women I know hate men. No, they just hate you. Hey, what do you think of these guys? For what? Millie's family. Well, they're very attractive and they look Republican. You think? Yeah, isn't that what you are? No. I never voted, but I'm not that. What were you? I was an actress. He is cute. He's not as cute as my first viper, James Dean. Beautiful Porsche, these really delicate lips. But he was so confused. Did he try to nail you? No, I don't know why. I do. How's this? Oh, it's very, very good. Rule of thumb, lip liner. You want to sketch, honey. Not draw, sketch. Thanks a lot, Daisy. Yeah. Should I just kill him, or is that a little hospital? Seriously, don't hurt him. Play nice. Hey, it's a fight, Daisy. You're gonna have to pick a corner. I don't want to pick a corner. Yeah, he looks like a bleeder. The drunk's bleed like hell. Yeah, I don't need to see this. I don't need to see any of this. Hey! Hey! Don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you! Jack! A word about the ascot. You need to be really stylish or really rich to pull that off. Or are you gay? <laughs> no. No. I smell an obsession with UFOs. <laughs> I'm not obsessed with UFOs. Okay. But I did come here in one. Big one. Big one. I've been reaping earlier these days. It's a lot less stressful. I never rush. If I see someone running, I just assume they're a loser. Unless they're a runner. Yeah, even then. Especially then. I'm a stalker. I had a stalker once. Yeah, he was a sweet boy. He'd leave me wildflowers, dead wildflowers, and little sparrows. Doesn't anyone want to know why I'm a stalker? How'd you get rid of him? I stabbed him with garden shears. Did you kill him? No, no, no. I stabbed him right here. 
Ooh, I would have stalked you, Daisy. I would have stalked you. What is it that you're doing now? Please, come on. I'm not stalking you. I'm persistent. Well, I'm... I once had to hide for hours in one half this size from a shrew of a Mrs. Tyrone Powers who was supposed to be in Palm Springs. I was forced to urinate in a highball glass. You think you're tough, don't you? What? You think you're a badass in your little getup. I could have played a cop, Roxy, a cop with a heart of gold. It's not the outfit, Daisy. Being tough is in here. I'm tough. Oh, yeah, real tough. You're real imposing. It's very easy for you, Roxy. You are armed. I need a gun, too. Girl needs accessories. The only accessory I have is my attitude. Well, then uh, give me your gun. No. Please. No. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. Give me the gun. Jesus Christ, you're like Mason. You are not a cop. And you are not a princess. And don't you fucking forget it. I actually have to work today myself. Doing what I was meant to do. Hooker. <laughs> I'm acting on a TV show. Mm. Are you sleeping with the producer? <sighs> it's between me and him. I hope so. So are you? Are you sleeping with Ray? George, I'm not the kind of girl that likes to kiss and tell. Since when? Since now. <clears throat> you're so angry. And you're not? Listen to me. I died in 1938, and there's not a day that goes by that I don't wonder about the things I did. The things I didn't do. I know, and you were going to be a great actress, and you were beautiful and talented, and you slept with all the men under the moon. Stop making fun of me. Just shut up for once. You think you know everything? Look how unhappy you are. I'm sorry you were so young when you died, Georgia. Good night. Are the ashes? Yes. I was cremated, you know. You burned to death. That's what I just said. Gone with the wind. I'm gone with the wind. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't find that funny. I did. How Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It's been 75 years since my last confession. How is that possible? It feels like 75 years. What would you like to confess, my child? Petty larceny. And from a very unpleasant woman. So how many Hail Marys and Our Fathers is that? What did you take? A necklace. With a cross on it. I needed it. And this person you took the cross from did not? No. Why not? She was dead. That is when we need it the most. How about we say ten Hail Marys and four Our Fathers, and we'll call it absolved. Not in the mood. You are some kind of fuck up. This is some Mason shit. I don't know what you're talking about. You leave the soul and you finger the murderer? I did nothing of the kind. You left the man's name. No, I didn't. I know your handwriting, Daisy. Your silly little curly cues. What the fuck do you think you're doing? I just didn't want him to get away with it, okay? That is not your job. Your job is to handle that woman's soul. Everybody has something they don't deal with, Roxy. Rube doesn't do kids. I don't do those. Those what? Women who end up that way. Defenseless with a man coming at them. I can't watch it. That never happened to you. No, I didn't say it happened to me. Then what the hell are you feeling so guilty about? I just feel guilty. Can't a girl feel guilty? Maybe you need to go back to church. Maybe we're done talking about this. Story? I broke up with Ray. That's our story. But I hit him on the head with a blunt object. Yeah, our story is I dumped him. I dumped him in your backyard in a shallow grave. Is that what you want me to tell Rube? It's fine. When you have to lie, you have to remember shit. And I really, really hate remembering shit. The key to successful lying is telling a simple yet elegant story, all right? It's like a little black dress. Short, simple, classic, unforgettable. Mm. 
bowling. I'll say I went bowling at the weekend when I was meant to be killing Ray. That is neither simple nor elegant. Mm. All right, this is not a joke. You killed a man. It was self-defense. The first blow to the head was self-defense. The, the three other blows after that was probably a little bit murderous, but... Are you trying to be funny? Yeah? No, I don't know. Sure, why not? I haven't slept a wink since it happened. I'm totally on edge. My nerves are totally fried. Oh, my God, why didn't you say something earlier? I reaped this junky housewife last week, and I hit the mother load. So, diazepam, lorazepam. This is a gorilla tranquilizer that are really fabulous. Mason, I don't want to be numb right now. We need to deal with this. Coffee? Yes, please, and keep it coming, Kiffany. Hello, Kiffany. Did you have a good weekend? I had a brilliant weekend. I went bowling. I'm a big bowler, I am. A great bowler. I was rolling, I was throwing, pins were flying, fucking everywhere, everywhere. They were. Uh, I threw a... I, I, I bowled a 360. <laughs> good for you. I died in 1938, which interrupted a very promising career on the silver screen. So now I stay here and I help other people go. And they do go somewhere. I know that much. I don't know if there's a heaven or a hell, but I believe there's more. My whole life, my whole death shows me there's more. I just don't know what it is. You can't tell anyone. But I have to. I have to tell them. Yeah. I know you do. Thank you for giving me back my faith. My dog died. You don't have a dog. My family's dog died. You don't have a family. Oh, shut up, Daisy. It's just, um, it's that kind of day. So your dog died. I don't even know why I went back home. Because Mason told me to. You shouldn't listen to Mason. Mason doesn't know anything. It's all my fault. I don't think it is. Well, then whose fault is it? Probably mine. What is that? Go away! Ray, go away! Daisy, why is there a graveling? Mason killed Ray. So Mason had his post-it? No one had a post-it. There was no post-it. And bad things have been happening today, and it's all my fault. So I'm sorry about your dog, babe. It's my fault. He's not staying here. You are being totally selfish. That's a fine sentiment coming from you. Excuse me, I am the most... Self-involved is what you are, Georgia. You are always in your own head. It's like you're talking to yourself. Am I? She has got a point, Georgia. Shut, Shut up, Mason. Mason. Fine, Jesus. He can have dinner with us. But then he has to go. He can't stay. So what, is he a dog now? Should we just put his food in a bowl and leave it out back? I actually wouldn't mind that. Shut the fuck up, Mason. I am trying to protect him. How is kicking someone to the curb going to protect them? You just think everyone is in love with you. Well, maybe they aren't. Maybe they just need a place to feel safe. That was very mean, Georgia. But not entirely inaccurate. Enough, Mason. No one is safe here. This is where you killed him. He's not coming back. He did. Today. There was supposed to be one death, and there were two. And if Mason stays here, he's just going to get angrier and angrier. Don't you get it? Well... It's my house, too. And I'm not scared of anything. Fine. Thanks, Georgie. No problemo. 
stay out of my bedroom. That's no fun, my darling. And if you're not scared, you're just a fool. <laughs>